We have been serving Santa Barbara County since day one. We are now visiting Legal Aid Foundation and with me is Executive Director Ellen Goodstein. How are you, Ellen? I'm good, thank you. Nice to be here. We are so proud of what you do really for our community and I would like to start this interview by asking you what is the mission of Legal Aid Foundation? Our mission is to serve those that can't afford private counsel, the low income, victims of domestic violence, elder abuse, people who are facing housing discrimination, uh, people who are having consumer debt issues, people who need help accessing social security disability income or supplemental security income that really sustains them on a month-to-month -month basis. When was it founded? Legal Aid was founded, believe it or not, 50 years ago in May of 1959 and we have been serving Santa Barbara County since day one. Originally it started with one small office here in Santa Barbara. It's expanded. We have an office in Lompoc. We have an office in Santa Maria. And we operate three courthouse self-help centers in the three main courthouses in Santa Maria, in Lompoc, and here in Santa Barbara. Now, I know you cover a wide range of services and programs, but I would like to start with the legal support that you give to victims of domestic violence. What do you do for them? Well, um, the first thing we do for them is do all the paperwork so that they can proceed with uh, an order of protection against domestic violence, something we call a domestic violence restraining order, DVRO. And that's usually um, a process where one of our advocates will sit down and fill out all the paperwork and then accompany the victim to court. Generally, it's about three years in duration. And what happens after that is that um, if the victim is in a legal relationship with the perpetrator, we'll take it to the next level. We'll help them get divorced. For instance, if it's a husband and wife. You know, if it's a violent relationship, we want to be able to legally extricate that victim permanently from that relationship. So then we'll represent the victim and file papers for a dissolution of marriage. Good. Now, I know you also cover issues related to housing, like housing discrimination and mm -hmm. eviction defense. Can you give me an example of how you have helped a local? Sure. Um, we do uh, probably about 35 to 40 percent of our work is in the area of housing. And the kinds of cases that we generally take are cases where someone is being discriminated against and it, it isn't always on the basis of ethnicity. A lot of times it has to do with mental or physical disabilities. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example of um, a case that Alex Lambros, one of our, ad, one of our lawyers, handled recently. Uh, his client is a woman in her late 80s. She also is blind. And she had been living in the same apartment for 40 years. And the landlord served her with eviction papers because the landlord feared that because of her disability and her age, he felt that she might be a danger to herself or a danger to others in the apartment complex. Well, what Alex did was he brought in someone from the independent um, living group and had a counselor evaluate this client's ability mm -hmm. to take care of herself. Is she a danger? Can she effectively function? And after the counselor gave us a report, which we discussed with the landlord, the eviction process was dropped. I mean, and here you had a woman who had been in the same place for 40 years and was absolutely devastated at the very idea that she might have to move. And so that's a case where um, we didn't need to, to take it very far in terms of litigation. We were able to work with, the, you know, with other resources in the city or in the county, and um, we were able to you know, positively resolve that housing case. Which other services do you have besides the one that we just mentioned? One, of, one important service that we provide is um, we help people who have been denied Social Security disability benefits or veterans benefits, um, benefits that they think they're entitled to. A lot of times, you know, you'll get denied, but if you take it to the next level, if you take it to the appeal level, we've been very successful um, with getting those benefits. Mm -hmm. We're kind of a safety net mm -hmm. for really people who just have nowhere else to turn. I mean, we can, we can often be the difference between, you know, being in a house and being homeless. 
you know, having money for food on the table and not having money. The difference between being a victim and being in physical danger and being safe. Tell me more about your staff member. Are they volunteers or do you use professionals? No, we have a paid staff. Uh, we have 15 staff members all together. So we have eight attorneys and um, then various advocates and intake coordinators. We also have a finance director and a development director that helps us raise money. Um, we are a nonprofit. However, the way we fund our organization is through grants, through special events. Uh, as a matter of fact, we recently celebrated our 50th anniversary with a big fundraiser. It was held at the Sunken Garden of the Courthouse, and we had a lot of sponsorship from private law firms. We had a small auction, and we honored 11 people over the course of the last 50 years who have made a big difference, including two of our three founders from 1959. And it was really a touching moment when we honored both of them for having the foresight to start Legal Aid 50 years ago. Could you leave us with your website so people can access to Absolutely. Our website is www.lafsbc.org which the initials of Legal Aid Foundation, Santa Barbara County. Our telephone number is 805-963-6754. And on our website, you can get information about our self-help centers at the courthouses. You can get information about our project outreach. And you can get information about our services. Thank you, Ellen, for all that information and for your daily work towards Santa Barbara safety. Oh, you're very you. welcome. You're very welcome.